Hey, good morning, Kevin. Hi, Ricardo. How are you? I'm fine. All right, let's give it a little bit of time, maybe a couple of minutes. Let's see if anybody else joins and then we can start. Sure. All right, I think we can get started. It's going to be just you and me and Tor. Okay. Yeah, actually, Tor is from my team. He's also the maintainer of Volcano Project. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, let me share my screen. Okay. So uh, uh, I also uh, added the uh, link to the uh, agenda so you can uh, view it online. And I will just use yep. my local copy in case the network. Okay, so uh, I will be um, uh, introducing the uh, Volcano project and actually uh, the growth after uh, after we enter the uh, sandbox, and uh, I think uh, it will be helpful to clarify uh, where we are, and actually we are uh, preparing to apply for uh, incubation. The uh, the the pull request of the incub uh, incubation will be uh, submitted after the uh, presentation. Great. Uh, so uh, just uh, to give some uh, quick background, Volcano is a, uh, a system to running uh, high performance workloads or uh, the compute in intensive workloads uh, better on uh, Kubernetes. So uh, especially uh, we are, we are uh, uh, fitting a lot uh, to the uh, batch scheduling, the uh, batch computing, uh, uh, ecosystem to help them uh, embarrass uh, uh, cloud native ecosystem, and the many uh, the major challenges we uh, uh, we observed in the early days uh, when people uh, trying to uh, transfer to Kubernetes are uh, one of this was the uh, not enough advanced scheduling uh, algorithms, especially uh, comparing to those systems. Uh, like Yarn or uh, 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 Slurm, edge, S, uh, SG uh, sort of uh, systems. And also uh, 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 people are actually looking for a deeper uh, integration and support for the mainstream computing uh, frameworks or architectures. For example, uh, TensorFlow, uh, PyTorch, and, uh, uh, and also the API, etc. And also uh, the advanced uh, job management, especially uh, compared to uh, those uh, job concepts in the other uh, system, 
it's it's not enough, and also uh, we want uh, uh, to have better support about the, the underlying uh, device accelerators and also the uh, heterogeneous hardware. So that's why uh, we started uh, working on the Volcano project, and we are trying to provide uh, more uh, rich uh, advanced scheduling policies, especially uh, to help those uh, batch workloads better running on, on, on top of Kubernetes. And uh, uh, also, we are uh, spending a lot of our effort to integrate uh, deeper and better with uh, computing frameworks. For example, the uh, big data, the uh, Spark Flink, and also the uh, AI the frameworks like TensorFlow, PyTorch, uh, OpenM API. And also we integrated with uh, like the uh, Hello World and also the Kubeflow to, to, uh, to, to speed up our uh, uh, integration with uh, our whole uh, ecosystem. And uh, uh, to, enhance the job management, actually Volcano has its own uh, job concept to provide uh, uh, more advanced uh, uh, functionality. And also for the, uh, the underlying uh, hardware uh, stuff, we are uh, uh, working on uh, supporting the heterogeneous device uh, support uh, to better uh, uh, manage the x86 or ARM and especially uh, some, uh, also to provide some advanced features like uh, GPU sharing or uh, new awareness uh, scheduling sort of things. And the, the Volcano architecture actually, uh, what we provide are, uh, uh, one is the Volcano scheduler, it's definitely uh, the most important part. Uh, the early version was in continuation of uh, Cuba Batch, a, a sub project under uh, uh, Kubernetes scheduling SIG in the early days. Uh, but we, uh, since we are uh, uh, looking for a more uh, larger scope, uh, that's why we started uh, this project, standalone project under CNCF. And also the uh, Volcano uh, controllers. Uh, is to uh, implement the uh, the uh, CRDs provided by uh, Volcano. Uh, the most important is uh, queue. Uh, we can just uh, queue the uh, uh, workloads, and also uh, the Volcano job. It's an uh, advanced job definition, uh, uh, more familiar to uh, uh, the more friendly to people that are familiar with. Uh, the batch systems or HPC systems. And also uh, pod group is also one uh, very important concept in, in, inside the Volcano uh, to uh, help people define uh, uh, the, 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 the unit of uh, scheduling. And uh, the admission webhook is actually, uh, we just uh, implementing some uh, uh, the CRD validation, as well as uh, uh, auto uh, injection to uh, simplify the, uh, 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 the experience of people uh, writing up the uh, CRDs. The underlying uh, device plugin currently, uh, we actually, uh, the, I think the most exciting thing is that we have a uh, GPU sharing uh, implementation so people can uh, share GPU uh, across uh, workloads, especially when they are running the inferencing uh, workloads on top of Kubernetes. And also uh, Volcano has one, it's uh, uh, the, the, the uh, command line uh, uh, a tool. Uh, the, the idea is that actually we are trying to support the same, uh, support the same command line experience with the, those legacy uh, batch computing systems. So actually we have a lot of uh, uh, command supported by this CRI. Okay, uh, so here is just uh, some uh, uh, example about the uh, uh, performance uh, uh, improved by uh, enabling the advanced feature uh, from Volcano together with, uh, uh, with Kubernetes. Uh, one uh, big area is uh, we, we have some a lot of uh, enhancement for uh, 
AI distributed training, and also uh, for uh, big data, we uh, we also uh, achieved a lot of uh, improvement. So uh, uh, you you can see, uh, for example, uh, with uh, gun scheduling enabled, uh, we can uh, uh, avoid a lot of uh, resource uh, uh, meaningless. Uh, resource waiting or meaningless resource allocation and they also avoid deadlock. Because in, in, in today's uh, clusters environment, uh, actually the, for example, the GPU resources, the hardware accelerators are very, uh, we think that the, the resource is, is expensive. And we know that, for example, if people wanted to run a, a TensorFlow training, they need to uh, have certain number of uh, worker nodes and the, the uh, parameter server uh, spin up, then they can uh, load the data to start chaining. So uh, with that background, if only some pods, uh, not enough number of the pods get scheduled, they may be allocated with the uh, GPUs, but they cannot load the data. So that's definitely a, a, a very big waste. So uh, with gun scheduling, we can make sure uh, uh, the workload always scheduled with enough instances so they can uh, uh, load the data and start the training right after the, uh, all the pods uh, started. Also, uh, so uh, in, in the diagram, you can uh, find out that actually the, the, the total execution time with Volcano enabled is, uh, is improved a lot. But with the default scheduler uh, on top of, uh, 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 with a default scheduler and a kubeflow actually, uh, uh, either the meaningless uh, allocation would occur or the uh, deadlock would occur, occur. Okay. And also- okay, One question, can I have a question? Um, so for GAN scheduling, you you can start the, the job uh, even if all the requested resources are not available and, and preventing deadlock. Um, is, is that the case? Oh, in, yeah, and what will happen later if some of those resources become available? Would GAN scheduling accommodate that? Or? So actually, the uh, currently this uh, the gas scheduling is for uh, the re, re, uh, the resources request the resources. So if the in the cluster or especially uh, each node, maybe the uh, the resource uh, is uh, uh, frag uh, uh, fragmented, right? So uh, if there's no uh, enough resource to spin up all the pods defined in the in the pod group. Uh, and uh, none of the pods will be scheduled. So they will be just uh, scheduled together. And we know that uh, once the, uh, all the pods get scheduled, uh, actually they, they will be running uh, right just after the other uh, process. Okay, yeah. so, so basically you still have to wait uh, until your, your resources and your pods are available for the yeah. job to be, to be scheduled. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we know that in the default scheduler, actually, uh, the pod is the uh, scheduling, uh, the basic scheduling unit. So there's no uh, workload level awareness uh, that may result in I scheduled uh, two pods from two different jobs. And from the job level, they cannot get enough uh, instances running. Uh, for example, the, the uh, TensorFlow, they cannot get enough workers or uh, PS nodes run, uh, pods running, then they are not able to load the data to start training. So Got it. Yeah. The, the, the GPU is wasted, right? Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay, uh, another is that uh, we actually have the uh, IO awareness uh, definition support. So you can just define if there's any, uh, uh, pods in, inside the uh, uh, one job have uh, some uh, IO uh, uh, IO access from each other, and the volcano will automatically uh, collocate these pods together. 
And uh, uh, this uh, is actually a uh, volcano is scheduling uh, actually by part of group or we can just directly say scheduling by job. Uh, it uh, the from the algorithm uh, implementation level, uh, it it's more efficient than the uh, default scheduler with the part affinity. So uh, overall, we can uh, improve the uh, the scheduler uh, throughput as well as uh, uh, improve the uh, the workload uh, running performance because the uh, the data transmission latency is reduced. And also uh, for the uh, so the, the for the bigger data one is actually the uh, we we are uh, offering the uh, main resource definition to help Spark driver and the uh, executor to reserve some uh, 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 resources to to uh, to make sure they can uh, start uh, the uh, query uh, uh, once they uh, have enough. Uh, 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 resources. It's it's kind of also uh, uh, trying to reduce the uh, meaningless uh, resource allocation. So uh, you can see this is the, uh, uh, from the uh, uh, test uh, result. Uh, the overall performance is improved around uh, forty percent. Okay, uh, so uh, just a little bit about the uh, community growth uh, since we uh, entered the uh, sandbox. So um, currently we have over uh, uh, 260, actually I think the latest number is 270 uh, contributors from all over the world. And the GitHub stars is uh, nearly 2000. And also uh, uh, from the, uh, the, uh, the member, the uh, contributor uh, diversity uh, stuff, we now have uh, uh, nine uh, maintainers from uh, five different organizations. And also we have the uh, uh, more than 40 uh, contributing uh, member organizations. And also uh, we are doing a lot of the uh, cross community collaboration uh, especially with the uh, computing frameworks where are the, uh, the, the workload level uh, uh, com community like Spark, TensorFlow, Kubeflow, uh, and also uh, uh, F-Link and the uh, Argo project, for example. And uh, last year, the uh, top contributors are from, uh, uh, besides uh, Huawei as the uh, funding uh, organization, uh, there are, uh, Actually, these are also new maintainers from the other uh, organizations. Uh, one is from Baidu, uh, another is from the uh, uh, Boss Jiping and uh, a, a human resource company. And the, uh, the fourth one is from uh, the uh, uh, China Construction uh, Bank. Uh, it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, a, a bank in China. Okay, so uh, actually uh, for the uh, public adoption, uh, we, uh, we, have, we, 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 we do get a lot of uh, user adoption, especially uh, people are running the uh, AI workloads and big data workloads were uh, doing research on top of uh, cloud native infrastructure. So here are uh, just a uh, part of the uh, Adopter, adopters already uh, using uh, Volcano in the uh, production environment. And also uh, for the uh, code diversity uh, uh, in the recent one year, you can find that actually we have get, got a very uh, good diversity uh, in, in the community web development. Uh, over, uh, more than 50% uh, contributions are from the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, contribute uh, uh, community members. Do you have like uh, how much it has changed uh, over the? I mean, in, initially uh, last year uh, was it mostly Huawei, and now it's like uh, more independent and different companies. Uh, so you you mean uh, like the uh, number of the commits or or what? 
uh, well, whatever number you have there, which is one Huawei, you have uh, 1,709 and independent, mm -hmm. you have 1,719. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering the state of, of this last year um, and how it has changed. Yeah. Oh, um, you mean comparing to the, uh, the, 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 the year before, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I, 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 I actually need to uh, check the data. This one was uh, from the uh, uh, dev states, uh, the, the, the CNCF contribution uh, um, okay. status uh, website. Yeah, I, th I think one of the questions that might come up come up in uh, in uh, incubation is, um, you know, the how much it, the project has moved towards more independence than just mm -hmm. relying on a single organization. Mm -hmm. So, so if you yeah. see Huawei had most of the commits mm -hmm. a year ago, but you've seen the progress going yeah. more towards independence. Then it's a good sign, right? So, and it's uh, you know uh, yeah. more yeah. of a better story story to, to become uh, mm -hmm. an incubated project, right? And, and later graduated, right? Yeah, I got the idea. Yeah, uh, I think we can add more details in, in the uh, due diligence uh, report. Right. Yeah, and actually, in, initially, uh, most of the code are uh, 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 contributed by Huawei, but now we uh, have the very good diversity. Great. Okay. Thanks. So I, I would just uh, go through some of the uh, use case. Uh, actually, these use cases are already uh, published, and uh, some of them already uh, posted with uh, 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 posted as uh, blog in uh, blog post in, in the CNCF website. So uh, the first one is the uh, the AI platform running in. in a company called the uh, Xiaohongshu. So Xiaohongshu is one of the uh, top social media and the e-commerce uh, uh, company in China. So uh, with, with many people just using the uh, uh, apps on the, on the mobile phone. And uh, <clears throat> they have uh, uh, with over uh, 100 million uh, active users per month. So we can think it's a very, uh, uh, a, la a la large number of uh, active users, and the the <clears throat> the main uh, uh, service or the main uh, workload they are running is to uh, to provide the recommendation for the uh, or the uh, end users to just uh, recommend anything uh, you might be interested in if you want to buy something or you 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 want to learn something. Okay, so they need to. Uh, Basically, they need to uh, uh, refresh the uh, uh, the model and the trend model, and also uh, analysis the uh, daily uh, data to keep in, uh, in, in iteration of the uh, model training uh, every day. And also, they have some uh, online uh, services to do uh, some uh, intermediate reaction when people are trying to refresh, get uh, more uh, new. Uh, things they might be in, interested in. So uh, the challenge is, is that they have large scale uh, cluster with thousands of nodes and the uh, recommendation model uh, has nearly 100 billion uh, parameters. It's a very, uh, very, very uh, big model. And uh, one of the uh, single training tasks uh, may, may contain hundreds of uh, PS and the uh, worker nodes. So it's a very uh, uh, kind of heavy uh, training uh, load. And they, uh, they actually, they, they, they want the uh, best resource uh, allocation uh, on, on top of the cluster, especially uh, with trying to collocate some uh, IO uh, heavy uh, pods together to reduce the uh, latency and improve the overall uh, uh, performance. So <clears throat> uh, uh, when they adopted uh, Volcano, the uh, most important uh, feature they are using is that uh, 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 gun scheduling to avoid the, uh, uh, the meaningless uh, GPU allocation and also uh, uh, use uh, adopted the enabled the bin packing uh, uh, algorithm to, uh, to reduce the uh, 
resource fragmentation and also uh, enable the uh, task topology to uh, to reduce uh, to try to co-locate the uh, IO heavy uh, pods together to reduce the uh, data transmission latency. So as a result, the, uh, they got uh, almost a 20% uh, improvement uh, on the uh, AI training speed. And also <clears throat> they, they have more 20% uh, uh, more AI uh, workload uh, uh, studied together at the same time. Uh, and the third uh, uh, improvement is that actually uh, uh, because they have uh, some of the uh, training jobs are very <coughs> require very uh, large scale of resource, and actually, uh, if using uh, a default schedule, uh, it, it's kind of uh, uh, resulting in starvation because uh, small pods always get easier to uh, to get scheduled. So, uh, Volcano helped to. Uh, uh, make sure the uh, big jobs can uh, uh, get scheduled in, in a, cer a certain uh, period of time. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, the, this one actually, uh, the uh, uh, here's the uh, quote uh, from the uh, uh, end user, so I will not uh, repeat. So basically, uh, they were, uh, trying to uh, improve the uh, the uh, AI workloads running on, on Volcano, uh, on, on Kubernetes. Okay, uh, the uh, second one is the uh, deep learning uh, platform at IGE. So uh, IGE is also a uh, top online uh, video platform. Uh, it's kind of uh, similar to uh, YouTube in, in, in the US, uh, in, in the global uh, uh, internet. Uh, IGE is one of the uh, top online video uh, platform in China with uh, over uh, 500 million uh, monthly active users. <clears throat> so uh, in their uh, environment, uh, they have the, uh, actually the uh, in internal unified deep learning platform to uh, support uh, different business teams uh, to, 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 to run uh, like the uh, uh, image recognition or NLP or recommendation or uh, sort of other uh, 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 services. And actually the, the uh, AI frameworks they uh, use from different team uh, varies. There are uh, some using uh, TensorFlow, some using uh, PyTorch as well as Cafe One and Two, and also the IMXNet, uh, etc. And uh, also, uh, in the early days, uh, they uh, when they adopted uh, container technology, they were uh, using Mesos uh, with Marathon uh, plugging, uh, because Mesos in the early days uh, have some more uh, friendly concept comparing to the uh, 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 comparing to Kubernetes, uh, they can uh, easier to integrate with Yarn or the other uh, framework. And actually, uh, they they were uh, uh, first uh, uh, doing the uh, containerization work, and then uh, they started thinking about how to improve the uh, resource utility uh, and also uh, the uh, resource allocation. So. Uh, uh, in, in their case, uh, they uh, make uh, take advantage of Volcano job because Volcano job is kind of a, a common API abstraction uh, support to define uh, like a, a cluster of TensorFlow or uh, easy to spin up uh, a, a, a PyTorch cluster to just uh, uh, load, load data for training. And also, they since they their uh, platform have uh, is serving multiple uh, uh, the, the business team, uh, they are using the Q concept, the Q based uh, 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 workload management and the scheduling to uh, share resources among uh, different teams, and also they introduced the uh, the. Uh, 
uh, a part of group concept to uh, to uh, to uh, achieve the gas scattering, the group scattering. Um, so uh, for uh, the uh, data plan of uh, deep learning platform at ITE, they have been running uh, uh, online with the online services and also the uh, the offline uh, analysis is in production for more than one year. And also, uh, uh, Volcano is definitely very important uh, part to help them uh, moving from the Mesos architecture to the uh, uh, cloud native architecture and also uh, uh, help them to unify the uh, resource pools uh, because the, the, uh, we know that Mesos is definitely a, a standalone uh, setup with the other uh, online services. So when they uh, Trans, trans, uh, transition to uh, the uh, cloud native uh, technology, they can unify the uh, re underlying resource pool and uh, spend more effort on improving the underlying uh, resource utility and where as well as uh, 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 doing more uh, uh, innovation. Okay, um, the third one is actually uh, one a use case from the uh, financial industry. So uh, it's the uh, batch computing uh, platform at uh, Ritian Investment. So this is one of the uh, uh, top investment uh, company in China. Uh, so they, they have a very large scale uh, 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 on-prem setup to uh, do the uh, AI training uh, because they need to uh, improve the model to, uh, to, to help do some uh, automatic uh, uh, buying or sell, sell, selling out. And also they are uh, running a lot of uh, big data uh, analysis to, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to, to generate reports and also uh, to uh, 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 format the uh, data. So uh, with, in, in their environment, the uh, challenges that they need uh, they also have uh, multiple uh, teams uh, running their uh, own uh, workloads on top of the uh, whole infrastructure. So they need the uh, fair sharing uh, support between the uh, uh, teams. And also they are uh, deeply uh, relying on the uh, gun scheduling uh, uh, feature to avoid the uh, uh, resource deadlock. And also they want to uh, Simplify the uh, the underlying uh, stack of managing AI workloads, big data workloads, and other kind of uh, HPC batch uh, workloads. So in their case, also uh, they are uh, benefiting from the uh, volcano job concept uh, because, uh, especially for running like the uh, uh, MPI workload, uh, volcano job provides. Uh, uh, internal plugins to simplify the uh, SSH between uh, one part to another and also automatically inject the environment and uh, the uh, uh, some of the uh, useful service information to uh, simplify the uh, uh, discovery and the uh, config uh, uh, par parameter config fetching uh, inside the uh, 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 workload. Yeah, and also uh, uh, because uh, Volcano uh, provided deeper uh, integration with uh, TensorFlow and Spark, they can uh, enable more uh, advanced features. So uh, uh, before uh, using uh, Volcano and uh, Kubernetes, actually they were running a lot of uh, workloads on Yarn. So again, they uh, actually want to uh, unify their uh, uh, the infrastructure, the resource pool, because they also have some uh, the online services. So uh, uh, with uh, the transition to uh, Kubernetes based uh, uh, stack, they can unify the uh, the resource pool and uh, improve the data utility, uh, the resource utility. So uh, uh, until now, uh, they are running more than uh, 
300,000 uh, pods every day, actually scheduling uh, uh, three, more than 300,000 pods every day to, uh, in, in production to, to help the uh, uh, training and the, the uh, data analysis. Okay, so uh, for Volcano uh, community development, actually we are uh, uh, re releasing every three month months. So uh, we 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 basically uh, following the uh, the uh, semantic versioning uh, schema and uh, and also uh, uh, the every three months we have a minor release or it's called the uh, feature release. Okay, so the latest uh, release is 1.3 and actually in the uh, in the year before we are uh, mainly uh, focusing on provide like the uh, basic uh, support of uh, AI workloads and uh, support and scheduling in the early days. And uh, after uh, entered the uh, sandbox, we added more advanced uh, functionalities like uh, GPU sharing and the uh, uh, preemption and uh, reclaim uh, of the uh, resources. And we also uh, added the uh, metrics uh, support to pro ex expose more uh, uh, the uh, middle state uh, status of the uh, cluster. And also we uh, supported like the, uh, the uh, hierarchical DRF to better uh, balance the uh, uh, resource allocation between different uh, teams. Yeah, and uh, yes, and also uh, in, in the uh, recent releases, we, we added more uh, support to uh, better uh, uh, cover the some of the uh, cornices, uh, corner cases of running the uh, uh, the the workloads if the uh, the resources is, is is very limited, or we people want to uh, improve the. Uh, from the whole workload level, uh, the success rate. Okay, so uh, for the longer term, we are uh, uh, still uh, looking for wider uh, user adoption. And uh, because uh, until now, uh, most of the user adoptions are from China. And in the last month, we just got one, uh, our first, uh, production a user from uh, the uh, America, but uh, still under uh, confirmation to publish uh, more with more details. And we are looking for a wider uh, uh, developer participation. And actually we, uh, we are uh, expecting to uh, have uh, more maintainers from uh, outside Asia, yeah. Uh, for the incubation, uh, actually, uh, today we, we uh, get the uh, presentation on at the uh, runtime tag, and actually we are also looking for a TOC sponsor to uh, help uh, move forward uh, with the uh, process. Um, for the technical stuff, actually, we think that the we we are we. Uh, uh, we still uh, have some a lot of. Uh, advanced uh, uh, features to do to better support with the, uh, uh, this year we gonna uh, support more with the uh, big data and, and the HPC uh, ecosystem. And also we are uh, currently uh, collaborating, uh, continually collaborating with uh, 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 maintainers, in, uh, committers in the Spark uh, community to to uh, to enable more advanced features, uh, and at the same time we are uh, looking for uh, uh, deeper integration with the other uh, CNCF projects, and especially uh, this year uh, we can see there are a lot of new uh, projects entering CNCF uh, to uh, help uh, improve the uh, data in intensive uh, intensive workloads running on on top of Kubernetes. We are definitely very interested to uh, integrate with them to, uh, to help uh, users uh, 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 speed up the uh, transition. Yeah, uh, the more uh, details about the technology stuff, uh, uh, 
is uh, in the uh, project roadmap. Okay, uh, that's all about my uh, presentation. Any questions or comments? And a, a future plan, you, you mentioned that you're actually looking at some adopters outside of Asia. And so yeah. you currently have one and are you looking to, uh, uh, do you have a plan to continue uh, yeah. developing uh, adoption mm -hmm. in outside of Asia? Yeah, and actually we do have some of the other users uh, currently uh, under uh, evaluation and uh, uh, one of them already uh, uh, running testing. Uh, the users are from user Europe, but we are definitely are looking for more uh, chances to uh, get in touch with the potential users and help them to adopt in their uh, production. Yeah, I think that may come up too during the due diligence. Um, but I think it, it does actually meet all the criteria. I think there's maybe the criteria is uh, two or three uh, major end users. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. I'll have to go back and, and check with the incubation criteria, but um, you know, from the tag run, runtime perspective, mm -hmm. it looks pretty ready for, for incubation. And mm -hmm. um, it's just a matter of finding a, a TOC sponsor to, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the other uh, question that I had is about maintainers. You, you, uh, are, you said that there's also uh, some progress in terms of maintainer maintainers outside of Asia, or, or are they or because they're mostly in Asia, uh, right? I think uh, currently the old maintainers are from Asia. Yeah, uh, in, in the uh, early days, uh, we have some uh, in the US, but the uh, uh, they kind of uh, currently retired from the maintainers uh, role. So the new maintainers are uh, from Asia for now. And uh, actually we, we are looking for uh, chances to uh, have maintainers from outside Asia. So it, it, it's being part of the CNCF a little bit like, um, you know, the reason to, to try to get some more maintainers outside of Asia or, or, or do you have any other um, initiatives or, or, or some strategy behind, you know, getting those maintainers? Um, you, you, uh, you know that uh, actually uh, in, in, the, in the earlier uh, 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 planning, we are actually trying to uh, attend the local meetups in uh, Europe, but that the plan was before the pandem pandemic, you know, and yeah, everything yeah. was crazy. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> actually, so currently uh, uh, we are to trying to get in touch with some uh, uh, local community or local uh, kind of virtual meetup organizers, organizers, mm -hmm. uh, so actually, yesterday we uh, we I had some uh, I had a presentation at the uh, data and Kubernetes community, uh, but we are looking for more uh, chances because uh, we we don't know uh, how many kind of uh, such uh, local community uh, are there in Europe mm -hmm. or in the U.S. Uh, we need some uh, maybe uh, someone to help just uh, linking the. Yeah, I, I, I think the CSCF help desk might be able to help with that. Uh, I know they have some events like Kubernetes Community Days, or they may have some other pointers or some other events that, that might be helpful, you know, for, for that. I think, it, I mean, in, in terms of having a healthy project, you generally want to have maintainers from different regions and also you want to have end users from yeah you know multiple regions around the world so yeah okay so, yeah i think that those are all my comments that's great um, i mean um maybe um i think it can we can Talk to the CNCF and see what the next steps are. 
-hmm. you know, in terms of finding the TOC um, uh, sponsor. Uh, yeah. So, and I think that there may be a next TOC meeting uh, the next month, and I can raise that um, in the meeting. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it also will help to reach out to um, Amy from the CNCF. You know, Amy, she's um, taking care of a lot of these things. So, so you know, she can help out maybe uh, evangelize within the TOC, right? So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be very helpful. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Well, thank you very much for presenting. And, and yeah, let's, let's stay in touch. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. You too.